Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I recently asked on Instagram for all of you to ask me any questions that you may have had about my photo card collection and uh, yeah, I'm gonna answer them here today in a video. I was originally gonna answer them in my Instagram stories, but I decided, you know what, let's make a video out of it. So um, I asked you to ask me anything you wanted and you guys definitely delivered. I got quite a few questions. So I am here to answer them with you guys today. So without further ado, I'm just gonna get right into it. So the first question is a photo card that matches your personal aesthetic the most. For this one, I chose this photo card of Hansei. I don't know like why it fits my aesthetic most. I don't know if I'll be able to properly explain it, but I just feel like it feels like me. I don't know. I love like a good chunky knit sweater. I love tattoos. I have a few. I have my nose pierced. I used to have my lip pierced um, and I just love the dark hair and heavy makeup aesthetic. So I feel like this photo card I don't know it just fits my aesthetic the most for the most part at least it's one of the first ones like while i was flipping through my binders that kind of stood out to me for this question so i'm sure there are others <laughs> but this is the one that came to my mind first so yeah and for those who don't know it's hansei from victon so yeah there he is the next question is what is your most expensive photo card now i think there's two ways for me to look at this question it's either like which one did i spend the most money on and then there's also like which one is worth the most like has the most value but i didn't necessarily pay that much for it so um i think in terms of value or in terms of like current value at least um it's probably these two however the superhuman kinos have now been reprinted so i don't know if this one still holds the same value that it did before but it is from the first press um version so like i don't know i don't know if there's a way to tell or anything like that yet but for those who don't know that card, this card here, uh, Taeyong's Superhuman Kino, it was selling for quite a lot, and I think it still probably will even with the reprints, I don't know, but yeah. But in terms of value again as well, I feel like this one, I don't know, I don't even ever really see it, and when I do, it's always super expensive. It was a random pull from a Super um, Concert photo card set, so basically, um, you got like a full set, but then you would pull a random member and this was Taeyong and I actually pulled it, which I don't even know how that was possible, but I did. So again, those two are like worth a lot, but I didn't pay that much for them. Like this one I traded for back when I first got the Kino and this one, like I said, I pulled. So didn't have to pay much for them, but in terms of cards that I have paid the most for, again, that will always go to Taeyong. He's just probably the most expensive idol that I do collect. And his Kinos, like this one here, can go for quite a lot, even when they're brand new. So um, I don't remember how much I paid for it. I like, I literally, I have a limit for myself. I don't pay more than a certain price point. Um, I guess I could say it like <laughs> for Taeyong, at least he is my alt. So I do spend more on him. I will be upfront and, you know, transparent about that. So some of his cards, I think the most I've ever paid for one is probably close to like 50 Canadian dollars, which I hate to admit that I've done that. Um, I don't like to do that and I try to avoid it at all costs, but you know, I've done it a few times. Um, and I feel like this was one of them. I can't remember, but Taeyong in general, yeah, some of his special cards are just, they're expensive. And that's why I don't ever <laughs> intend on having a complete Taeyong collection because I just don't think financially I'd ever be able to. And it just, it doesn't make sense <laughs> for me to spend that kind of money. So I focus on the ones that I really want. I try and trade as much as possible or get help from, you know, some people that I've made connections with. But otherwise, um, yeah, he's probably the person that I spend the most money on. <laughs> The next question is which idol is your favorite to collect and this is a little tricky question i'm gonna move this binder out of the way now i was just using it as a background but we're gonna move it collecting idols like it changes who my i don't know if i have a favorite but like you know which is the one that i enjoy collecting the most currently and for this answer i think i have to say min chan um i don't know there, it, he was like one of the more recent idols that i decided to collect and because there was quite a few items for him out at the time that I started collecting. It was really fun to just try and go and hunt for all of them, but also his cards are just so cute. So I think that I am definitely enjoying collecting him the most right now. And he's one of my favorite idols to collect. And he just announced that he's finally off of hiatus. Um, I'm so happy that he's doing okay and that he's coming back to us. So yeah, he's definitely one of my favorite idols to collect right now. I also just signed up for his bubble because I'm just so happy that he's back. Um, and yeah, so there we go. 
very very minchan the next question was which idol do you have the most photo cards of and um i don't know I, i've never really like counted but just based off of what i think i i believe it might be sun chick it could very well be taeyong as well i think they're probably neck and neck but i wanted to show something different this time so here is my sun chick collection i do have quite a lot of cards for him from regular album cards to special non-album cards to pre-order benefits and things like that actually now that i'm thinking about it i think the correct answer is probably woods <laughs> hold on I don't know how he didn't pop into my mind to begin with, but yes, I collect everything for Woods. And for those who don't know, each of his three albums have come with like 25 regular photo cards to collect. So these were all from Equal. Um, and these were the pre-order benefits and fun things for Equal. And then we moved on to Whoops, which again, there's just so many things, so many cards. I don't know how I didn't think of Woods. Obviously he's probably the idol that I have the most for. And then we moved into Set so yeah he is definitely the idol that i have the most photo cards for and i don't know how my dumb brain didn't think about that like man had 30 cards for his season's greetings <laughs> so yeah we have a whole binder dedicated to him so definitely the correct answer here is woods okay so the next question is if one day you ever stop collecting which one card could you never let go of that is a very difficult question for me um i've had like these discussions with myself and like with my friends in the past but i think it would be very hard for me to choose one card i know it would be taeyong though like this collection as a whole i don't think i could ever get rid of um i don't know which one card though like i love this one i mean i love them all oh my god there's just i don't know i probably i mean obviously the superhuman kino is very special to me um i don't think i could choose just one card of his i think i would change this question to ask which one collection would you never get rid of and i think it would be taeyong just because like i said he is my ultimate bias but i don't know and he was probably one of the first idols i ever started collecting like seriously when i first started trying to collect like everything from an album for a specific member or something like that like he was one of the first um so yeah his collection as a whole just means a lot to me and i don't think i could ever get rid of it so that's going to be my answer and this kind of leads into the next question which which collection are you the most proud of and i feel like again it would have to be taeyong as most of you know it is not easy to collect him at all so just you know to be able to pull him to be able to trade for him um, just anything in general like that is, you know, I just feel very proud of myself for being able to to have as many Taeyong items as I do, just knowing that he's not easy at all. Um, but I am also very proud of that Woods collection, I must say, <laughs> just to be able to have all of them. Um, yeah, it, it it's another one that's not easy because there's just so many, but yeah, very proud of both of those collections. So the next question is, which Holy Grail card do you still want to get? Um, and I had an answer for this planned out, and it was, I will put it on the screen, this very adorable Sungshik with Drama um, continuous pre-order benefit card. I wanted all four of them, but this one in particular is the one that I really, really, really want. Um, and yeah, I was prepared to answer with that because I can never ever find this card. I had so many to trade for it. I had like, you know, when I bought the pre-order albums for Continuous Home with Drama, I pulled some cards. I, I, I got one of the four Sungshik. I didn't get the other three, but I had other cards that I was willing to trade for it. And I just never even found anybody, you know, trying to trade or sell them at all in general until the other day. So I found somebody, somebody sent them actually to me on Instagram and I was shook. I messaged that person so quickly. They wanted Sungwoo equivalents, which I had one and I traded for this, this card that I wanted the most, but they had the other two that I was missing for sale. So I also purchased them. So I will have all three of the ones that I don't have on the way. And to me, those were like some of the biggest Holy Grail cards that I really, really, really wanted. Um, and yeah, they're on the way, which is so exciting. Which kind of leads into the next question of the hardest PCs to find. Those were definitely some of them. I don't think I've ever seen them before, ever. But I think I have an answer for one of the cards that you guys know very well that I struggled to find for almost a year. It was this Sungoon card from CIX. This was the My Music Taste pre-order benefit card 
from their Hello Chapter 2, Hello Strange Place album. I struggled. Um, I found this one or I pulled that one, but this one I could not find. And then I remember, if you remember correctly as well, I thought I had found it. I purchased it from somebody, but I purchased the same one twice because I'm an idiot. So this one took a while. Somebody actually messaged me eventually and was like, hey, I have this card and I saw that you needed it. Would you like to trade like for the other soon and I was like oh my god yes yes please so yeah when I got this card it was like one hell of a moment for me I had been looking I kid you not for I think about a year for that card and I could not find it I'm so happy that it's finally here and uh yeah what a cute little completed page this is the next question is a collection you regret dropping. Um, I don't really regret any of the collections that I've dropped, you know, I've done it for a reason, but I would say that the one I miss the most is maybe MJ from Astro. Um, I really loved collecting his cards as well, but I don't know, I just didn't really feel like the drive to collect them anymore. I still love Astro and I still love MJ with all of my heart, but yeah, I don't regret it, but I definitely miss it. Next question is which groups do you find the easiest to collect? Um, and I think one of the groups that I find the easiest to collect these days, not ATs, <laughs> is very, very. Um, I just, you know, I don't really struggle too hard with them. They're very fun and easy to collect. It could be the members that I collect as well. They're relatively easier to trade for and easier to find. So I collect both Gehyun and Min Chan, as I mentioned earlier. But yeah, I feel like definitely one of the groups that's easiest to collect for me currently. Other than them, I mean, I don't know. I feel like I have a really easy time with Monsta X usually as well. So that's another one. But currently right now, I would say the easiest is probably very, very, but also the most fun. I love collecting them. They're so cute. I want to adopt them. Um, and yeah, so my answer is very, very. The next question is, are there any purchases that you regret? And for me, no, I don't think so. I've never like bought something and thought, why the hell did I do that? Um, I don't know. I feel like whatever I purchase, like I don't, I don't buy things spur of the moment. I always think about it a little bit first, especially if it's a larger, more expensive purchase, but I don't know. I don't think I regret anything really. I mean, obviously I've dropped collections and dropped um, photo cards albums in the past, but like I said, I don't really regret any of those decisions because in the moment, you know, I felt like it was right and yeah, I stand by those decisions. So no regrets from me. The next question is what is the first photo card you ever got? And this one is super fun for me. Let me move along. So here we go. Obviously it was BTS. <laughs> I mean, I feel like BTS is um, for most of us, not all of us, obviously, it was one of the groups that first got us into this whole K-pop scene, at least they were for me. Um, and yeah, I love them with all of my heart. But my very first photo card was actually Suga. And I know a lot of you um, know how much I struggle with pulling his cards. He hates me so much. But I actually pulled this one in my very first ever album, which was You Never Walk Alone. Um, I pulled him and I pulled RM from the other version. So yeah super cute love this card with all of my heart ah yeah and it's just it's so great okay i think when i pulled him i don't know if he was my bias yet or not um i didn't even like think about collecting at the time i just got his card and i was happy <laughs> um and yeah and here he is right in the middle of this first yunki page that i have here so yeah my first card ever okay so this next question is a good one and it's groups that you don't want to collect anymore but you won't get rid of because you're scared of the reaction and for me I don't care <laughs> um I will drop people I don't I don't honestly it's my collection and I can do what I want with it obviously um and I'm not going to let the reactions of other people stop me from that like I don't know I don't think there's a single group currently that I don't want to collect that I think I would receive backlash for but again I don't think that's fair either I don't think anybody should receive backlash for stopping to collect anyone um so yeah to me I I don't care if there is a group that I want to stop collecting I will stop collecting them regardless of what I think people's reactions might be okay so the next question is my favorite holographic pc um 
I don't know if it's like my favorite of all time, but it's the one that came to mind first because it's probably one of the more recent ones that I've gotten, but it was this little Hyojin from On and Off. Yeah, I had no intention of collecting pre-order benefits for On and Off, but ooh, I hit my camera. I saw this one on Mercari and I just couldn't let it go. He's so cute. The hollow is amazing. Is it Star? Yes, it's Star. So yeah, is there, is there dirt in there? No, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, but yeah, it is the cutest card ever. Probably my favorite currently. Okay, so the next question is, do you ever buy damaged photo cards? Um, and my answer is typically no, typically I don't. I try to find, you know, some good quality cards, but I recently did actually purchase a slightly damaged one and it was this Miro, um, Mino red border. And the only reason I did that was because I recently did try to trade for this and it got lost in the mail and I was like, well shit, now I gotta buy one. So I was looking through Mercari and it, you know, it turns out that Lino is not exactly very cheap. Um, but I did find the card for a relatively decent price for, you know, compared to what the other ones were. And I was wondering why, I'm like, what is wrong with it? Like, is there damage, whatever? And I looked at the photos and there was, you know, when there's like two cards pressed against each other in an album and there's like a line indent, that was the only damage. And honestly, it was, you know, like I said, cheap in comparison to what other people were asking for that card. So I decided to just hit purchase. And you know what, unless it hits the light, I don't think you're really gonna be able to tell. And it's gonna be sitting in here anyways. I wanted it to just fill up this spot so I can finally complete this collection. And um, yeah, that's that's why I purchased it. So like I said, I typically don't, but if the damage isn't that bad, if there's like a little misprint or a speck or like a tiny little dent, I'm fine. If it's bent or ripped or something like that, I'm not gonna buy it. But you know, a little, a little piece of damage like that isn't gonna bother me so much, so. That's my answer. The next question is, how do you decide what to collect and how to budget? Um, this is a very good question as well. Um, in terms of deciding what to collect, I typically will always start with at least album photo cards. So for whoever it is that I'm collecting, for example, Zuho, I will attempt every single album photo card there is. Now, in terms of pre-order benefits, if it is an alt of mine, for example, Sungshik or Taeyong, I try really hard to get as many as I can, but again, some of them can be very, very expensive and I'm not about that life. So when it comes to pre-order benefits and special cards and things like that, I will try my very best to get, you know, all of the ones that I can find, but I also limit myself because I'm, you know, you can't be spending all your money on things like this, especially when some of these cards can be worth way, way, way too many dollars. Like it just doesn't make sense. So in terms of budgeting, obviously only spend what you can afford. I know it sounds easier said than done, but honestly, like don't be using your credit cards all the time to buy things that you can't purchase. You don't wanna be going into debt over these things. Like it's really not that deep in my opinion. So for me, I collect what I can, what I can afford. If I see that something is like, you know, 20, 30, $40, I'm not gonna do it. Um, like I said, I did spend, you know, $50 on a Taeyong card before, but that was because that was like the one card that I allowed myself to do so. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna spend $50 on every single Kino card. Like it's just, it's, it's not, it's not realistic for me. So I think budgeting is a very personal thing. It definitely depends on what you can afford, how much you can put toward these things while also being able to live your regular daily life. Um, so yeah, that's just how I decide. Basically, you know, I focus on the album cards first and then all of the special and pre-order benefit things come later and only what I can afford. The next question is, what is your favorite Yosang photo card? And oh my gosh, that is so difficult. Um, okay, let's take a quick look. I love a lot of the cards from their recent album, but I do also love a lot of the special cards which start here. So let's take a quick look. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. I think I have a front runner. Maybe. <laughs> okay, let's pick a few of my favorites. So I love this one in the middle here, but also the one right next to it. I think these are two of my favorite pre-order benefits from this era. The headband here is just great as well. I think he's so cute, so beautiful, but you know what? We'll, we'll go with this one. This is definitely my favorite here, but 
I would not be able to get through this without picking at least one of the hollows as well. Maybe this one, super beautiful. But also his light stick card I think is so cute. So those are just a few of my favorite Yosung photo cards. He is also one of those um, members that I love to collect. I love trying to find special pre-order benefits and things for him if they are cheap because some of them are not um, and I refuse to buy some of them. But for the most part, we tried. We're, we're doing well with this collection and uh, yeah, I just, I love him so much. And then we have a similar question of what are my favorite SF9 photo cards and oh my gosh, okay, for Zuho, love this one. I think this one is super cute. I love his little newt newt face. So cute. Um, I love his longer black hair as well. So these two are two of my favorite cards of his as well. Um, and then in terms of Jaehyun, I don't have all of them yet. I'm still working on this collection as you know, but currently let's see what would my favorite Jaehyun be? Oh my god, so many gifted me these and I honestly really love these. What is it? Cafe Wow or something like that? Wow Celebrity Cafe. I love both of these cards so much because I think his pink hair was superior. So with that logic, I guess some of my favorite photo cards of his are probably from the Mamma Mia era. So cute. So yeah, those are a few of my favorite SF9 photo cards. I like this question because it touches on a group that I don't really talk about too much and it's my Elast collection and my favorite Elast photo cards. So let's just move ahead. So for those who don't know, I do collect Elast, but I haven't talked about them too much recently because my bias was not really in the most recent album. So I didn't do like an unboxing for it or anything. Um, but yeah, okay. So I guess my favorite photo card I mean, there's only two to choose from for a Wan June, but I really love this one up here. I think it's super cute. But then for Sung Yop, I think my favorite are probably here. I love the dark hair. I love the mullet. Um, I think this was a great era for him as well. So I know that both of them were actually in the recent unit that they uh, that they created for that for their recent release. I don't know. I can't speak English right now. Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping that they come back as a full group and that there's more Wanjun for me to collect in the future because I love him. I think he's adorable and yeah, I hope this collection can grow a little bit in the future. Okay, so the next question is pretty interesting as well and it's what's the oldest PC from an era you own out of all the groups? So not technically the first card that I got, which I showed you earlier, but which one would be like the oldest and I need to think about which groups I collect that have been around the longest so give me a minute. Okay so technically I think BTS might be the oldest group I collect but I do also collect EXO. The only thing is that I don't know if any of these current cards that I own are older. This one might very well be. Does it have a date on it? Let's see. <laughs> I don't know if these have dates on them. Oh date of issue maybe that like 2013 I, I don't know if this is I think this is older than that sugar card that I showed earlier so I'm gonna say that this might be the oldest card that I have and I didn't even like buy this album or anything my roommate actually gifted me this Schumann card I am still working on my older Schumann photo card collection but I think currently that's probably the oldest photo card that I have in my collection I don't know I don't I don't collect a lot of older groups I listen to a lot of them but I just haven't you know collected them because it's just harder to go back in time and collect things like that so I think that might be my oldest card I'm gonna say that it is but I don't know for certain okay so the next question is the most recent photo card that I got and that would be this tail from P1 Harmony I recently purchased their signed album from M Wave and that came in the mail the other day so that is what this card is here and it would be the most recent one that I got and the most recent one that I pulled very happy to have it he's so cute the next question is what is the luckiest card that you pulled from an album and I, I don't want to give like a typical like Taeyong answer <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna say is actually this hockey mark and the reason why I think this was lucky was because first of all there were one of what 23 photo cards that you could get from this resonance album obviously and you know I don't collect mark but I said if in the very off slim chance that I pull this mark from my album, I will keep it. And what happened? I pulled it <laughs> and I kept it. So he's in this little top loader. I keep him on my shelf. And what's actually hilarious is I pulled his other card in the other album as well. I pulled a double mark set. So the universe really, really wanted me to have some mark in my life. <laughs> and I'm very happy to have this card. So yeah, hockey mark for the win. 
The next question is, how is your In Hype In collection going? And by looking at these pages, obviously it doesn't look like it's going very well, but I recently have purchased the remaining um, carnival cards that I need. So all of these are on the way. All of these are on the way. The only thing that I'm having a struggle with is the older album cards. So these three I cannot find for a decent price and these three I cannot find for a decent price. And honestly, is okay. I, I'm not, you know, in any particular rush. If anything, if worse comes to worse, I'm happy having three out of the six for both of the members I collect. It's not a big deal for me too, too much. So honestly, I'm okay with it. The collection's going well. I would say it's going smoothly. The next question is what is my favorite Juhan card that I own? And honestly, this one is so easy for me. It comes to my mind every time I think about my favorite Juhan photo card. And it is, if I could find it, I don't remember where I put them. Does it come later? Because it's, it's, I, I will spoil it. It is a, is it a Kino card or a special card? Hold on, it's a Kino one. It is this one here. I love this photo card so much. I love his blue hair. I love his little wink. It is just one of my favorite cards of his of all time. So. Yeah, that's my favorite Juhan photo card, hands down. <laughs> the next question is if I have noticed a difference by having my binders organized by member. So recently I made the switch. I used to have my photo cards organized by album, but for example, this was the only card from that album. You know what I mean? So it felt like it was a waste of space on a nine pocket page for things like that, especially when my collections started to expand. So I recently made the decision to you know just merge everything by member and honestly the difference that i found is it gives me obviously a lot more space in the binder but i don't know it, it also takes the stress off of having to organize pages because you just kind of pop them in order there's no you know designing a page like six six spread or seven spread or whatever it's just it's just a lot more easy going and i enjoy it for myself so i would say those are the main differences that i've noticed the next question is, what is my favorite Stray Kids photo card? Um, I collect three different members. So what I'm gonna do, choose one card per member. So for Chanmin, let's see, what is my favorite? I think I know, but I just want to refresh my memory to be sure. Yes, okay. I think I know for sure that my favorite is probably one of these two or one of these three. I just love the IMU era for him. I think it might be this card. Let's take this one out. I love it. I love his little eyebrow situation. I think it's cute. I love his outfit. I don't know. I just love this card in general. So definitely my favorite, Changbin. Now we can move on to Lino. I skipped quite a few, but I know that my favorite is further in, I believe. Well, we all love the kissy face. I know we all love the kissy face, but I think my favorite is probably this card here. I think it's adorable, both the front and the back. So cute, but especially this side here. Love this photo card. So definitely one of my favorites but i think just lino's cards in general the double side ones like this one is beautiful as well actually that one might be <laughs> a top contender as well but yeah and then for felix let's see let's see hmm hmm i really love the blonde mullet era so i'm gonna say that one of these is my favorite they're all double-sided as well let's go with this one i don't know why i think it's cute I love the like out of focus finger heart way up in the foreground and I love the back. So there we go. Favorite Felix. The next question is, do you think you'd ever pick up Songhua again or is he too expensive? So for those who don't know, I did used to collect Songhua, um, but I kind of stopped after this era. So I don't have his most recent era album photo cards. Um, and honestly, I think I feel like I still want to. I've been checking, you know, a little bit here and there and his cards are pricey, so it's just a bit of a commitment, but I'm thinking I do want at least album photo cards for him. It's just a struggle. <laughs> so I will think about it. I'll continue to think about it in the future. I don't want to, you know, completely dismiss the possibility of collecting him again. I really do want to. It's just a matter of financially, can I? <laughs> so yeah, that's my answer for that one. Okay, and I think that was all of the questions that I'm going to answer today. There were a few more, there were a few duplicates, but I think I got all of the major ones. Obviously, if you have any further questions about my photo card collection or anything in general, you can always ask in the comments below. I'm pretty good about responding to comments on my videos, but yeah, I hope to hear from you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.